Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Cheyenne and I like to make videos about myself, my kids, whatever's on my mind that day, videos with my fiance, and just what's been going on in our lives this past year. This video is going to be about our top baby buys, like the big ticket items, the one that costs the most, and if we liked them, if it was worth the money, or if we shouldn't have gotten it basically. We slept with the air on last night, so my allergies are all over the place, so please excuse the fact that I sound stuffy and I'm probably gonna blow my nose. That's number one. Number two, I'm like missing a nail. I feel like I have to give all these disclaimers because I'm just kind of out of it. Zach was like, how are you gonna make a video about all these expensive things and you're missing a whole nail? I'm like, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel and to turn on your post notifications. Now let's get into these items. So the first one, I was like, do I start from like the bottom and work my way up to hit you guys with the biggest one or do I work my way from the top to the bottom? Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. I don't wanna scare anybody yet. So from the bottom, one of the most expensive baby items that we got is a leaf grow and it is a seat from Nuna. I'll put in some clips that you guys can see while I'm talking about it, about everything that we're gonna talk about today. So I bought this seat off of Nuna's website. I really like Nuna products. With Ryder, I had a car seat, I had a stroller. I got Ace the same car seat stroller set up. I saw that they had a baby seat and I really liked the way it looked, to be honest. I thought it was very cool looking, but I did not read the description. Looking at it, I thought that it was like something you plug into the wall and it moves, kind of like a bouncer. It is not that. It is not plug into the wall, it's not a bouncer. It is basically how it sounds. It's called a leaf grow because it grows with your child. So the seat can be adapted to when you're an infant all the way up to a big kid. So an infant, a toddler, you just take the inserts out and of course like remove the bar that has the toys and stuff off of it. And then it becomes like a seat for a bigger kid. And then it reclines back and forth. I'm gonna put in some clips of the seat so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I thought that when I paid the price, I'm gonna be honest, I thought that it was a bouncer or it was gonna be like one of those four mom chairs that actually rock and it wasn't that so when I got it I was a little disappointed just because it's not what I was expecting but it was also my fault because I didn't read the description I just automatically assumed that it had something to plug into the wall with or needed to get batteries or something it does sway from side to side you know I'm gonna be completely honest Ace has said in it one time once and I keep thinking, okay, maybe he's just too small for it right now. And maybe that's why he doesn't like it. Because Boz, my nephew, loves it. He sits in it all the time. Every time he's at the house, he comes right into the nursery and plops into that chair. And it has all the baby inserts in it, so he's literally laying on top of the baby inserts and he loves the seat. So I'm just thinking maybe Ace isn't big enough for the seat yet and that's why he's like not really feeling it because the one time I put him in there, I clearly have not put him back in there because he was very unhappy. He does like to be very like snuggled into things and I just, Think the seat was a little bit too overwhelming for him what i do like about this seat is that it does grow with your kid at least with this one you know it's something that you're gonna have in your house for a long time because my nephew is huge in my head and he loves the seat you know so imagine ace next to boz like we're at least I'm at least knowing I'm gonna get like a good few years out of this seat. And in the pictures that they have on their website, the kids that are sitting in the seat are way bigger than Boz. So I do think you get your money's worth if your kid grows to like the seat. But it's literally, it sounds just how it is. And it's a leaf grow. Like it said grow and the thing, I should have looked at what I was buying. But I'm gonna be honest, I went off of, ooh, this is cute. This is aesthetically pleasing. It was gray, it matched my nursery. With the price, I thought, ooh, it has to move on its own. I didn't think I would have to sit there and kind of move it with my foot. So with all that said, it is $300. And I thought $300 was a lot for something that isn't like, you know, you turn it on and not like you can walk away, but you turn it on and it goes on its own. It's almost like a really expensive bouncer that doesn't bounce 
for you. You have to bounce it. I'm trying to make myself feel better by saying it was worth that price because of how long you get to use it. That is my review on Nuna Leaf Grow seat. I guess I have to wait and just see and keep trying to put Ace in it when he does get bigger and we'll see if he grows to like it but who knows. So the next big ticket item is the LV. This is what it looks like. The LV is a pump. It's a wearable pump. I have the double LV so this is the box that it came in. It's a neat looking box. I love packaging. I cannot lie so when I saw this box I was like ooh, nice packaging and now I see why it's so expensive so the LV pump fits in your bra and your life I got it for convenience it's small and light hands-free it's silent nobody will hear anything it's hassle-free this is what the box is saying quick to assemble easy to clean no cords no wardrobe changes no fuss use the app to monitor milk volume in real time track pumping history and control the pump remotely this is the the LV pump it has an on button right here you turn it on and then you can kind of see that the little light lit up and that's how you know you're ready to go there's a left an L and an R so you can click which side you're on if you're pumping from your left boob or your right and then you just literally press the play button and it starts so once you turn it on it's on now and you can see the suction so your nipple of course goes here and it has like little lines so you know where to put your nipple where to line it up with and they say it's silent but this is how it sounds Once you're done with it, you press this button. It releases the bottom piece, and this is where your milk fills up. This has basically four ounces, or it will start to leak and, like, spill out. The first thing is there's a lot of pieces. In my opinion, there's just a lot of pieces. So you take this piece out when to clean it. So this is your, like, base. You don't get this wet, of course, but you do have to charge this. And I have to charge mine basically after each time I pump. The battery isn't all that great, to be honest. So this is one piece. You have to clean this piece. And then you have this little thing where your milk goes in, and mine fills up really quick. That's the only thing I really don't like about the LV is that this little thing fills up in like two seconds for me. I don't notice it until I start to leak basically and then I have to take it out dump it and then do it again which is kind of annoying so I wish they had an option where these could be bigger but then I guess it wouldn't fit in your bra so maybe that's why they made it this size this is another piece you take off so this is something else to clean and then you have your top piece to clean and then you have this to clean so you have all of these pieces to clean now I'm not complaining about that but when not when you have like little pieces like this for some reason I'm not good with stuff like that and they seem to always get lost so online I did notice when I was looking at it there was options to buy replacement pieces so I'm sure there have been people who have lost pieces to their LV because they are kind of small once it's all clean you pop everything back in this bottom piece pops right in and it fits right into your bra let me show you guys and it also comes with little pieces that you can put connecting to your nursing bra so that it can fit in your thing but i like mine to be snug so i just put it directly into my nursing top and clip it itself so then i'll go right in make sure i get my nip in there snap it on and then your lv is on and it kind of zacks as i look like i have a mechanical boob when i'm walking around the house when i do it because you can see the light through everything but yeah that's basically how you put it on it snaps on you of course have to then take it out and then dump your milk or you can store your milk in that container i purchased my lv and i had already gotten a breast pump through my insurance which was just a normal breast pump you plug into your wall it has your standard suction that you put on the little things you put on but you're like glued to the wall and it's loud it makes you really feel like a cow getting milked like i always felt really like ugh when i was pumping and i pumped a lot with Ryder, and i was expecting 
expecting to pump a lot with Ace, but what I didn't think about, which is my fault, was that I pumped a lot with Rye because she would nurse, but she was also prescribed a formula that she would have to drink. So she would nurse, and then the next feeding, she would drink the formula. And I realized that during that time that she was drinking the formula is when I would pump. So that's why I pumped so much with Ryder. Where Ace doesn't have a formula he has to drink, so he breastfeeds exclusively, well, like all day long, basically. I don't really pump that much because I'm always with him. But there are times where I have to go do something or run out the house, or if I want Zach to have him, like right now he has him and he has milk that I've pumped. So I'm like, okay, I do want to get a pump that I'm gonna feel comfortable using. And I didn't want to be glued to the wall. So convenience wise, the LV has helped a lot. If you're somebody who has a high supply, it is annoying to have to take it off, dump, and then put it back on and hope that your like supply will still like run smoothly. Sometimes I feel like my boobs get mad that I got them all worked up. They're like doing the do and then I have to take off the pump because it's starting to leak out because it's getting too full. So it's a little annoying to be honest. Sometimes it's a little annoying. And... I could have just gotten one instead of getting the double. So the LV costs $500 for the double pump. And I'm not sure if you can get an LV through your insurance. I'm not sure if you can get any of the cordless breast pumps through your insurance because the cordless pumps are very expensive. I thought that was super expensive for a pump. I really felt like I was paying for the convenience of the pump. I don't use it as much as I thought I was gonna use it, but that's only because Ace really likes to nurse he's so little like I don't really leave him ever so I don't feel that it's necessary for me to pump all the time but when I do use it it's cool but I'm not like it's not like a make or break for me it's cool that I have it but if I didn't have it I wouldn't feel like I was missing something and to be honest I use my handheld pump that I got off of Amazon for like 25 bucks way more than I used the LV, which was $500. So if I had to pick right now between my handheld pump and my LV, I would pick my handheld pump. But that's just my opinion on the LV. It's each his own, you know, do you? If I was to go back in time, if I had the option of buying two versus one, I would just buy one of them. Because I do notice that I never put both on. I would pick my handheld pump no matter what over this. I do think that when I express with my handheld, I get a lot more milk than when I'm using the LV. And I don't know why that is, but I feel like so many people are in love with it and I'm just not. So that is my take on the very expensive LV breast pump. My next big ticket item is, so I have the Nuna Mix next stroller set and I also got like the combo so I got the stroller and then I got the Pippa RX car seat so it's like the travel set I have it in black and this cost around 1200 bucks so you're getting a stroller and a car seat now I love Nuna I don't even want to say anything bad about them I love them I love the car seat it is a newborn car seat so he is gonna grow out of it pretty quick they do have a seat that goes from newborn all the way like to toddler all the way to like big kid and it just grows with your child but it is a really big seat so I didn't want to get that I like that with the Nuna car seat and stroller mix you can just attach your car seat right onto your stroller it's kind of it's very convenient it's the like most convenient option in my opinion because if your baby sleep in your car seat you don't want to have to take your baby out of the car seat and then put them into a stroller and they probably wake up so I like being able to just take the car seat out of the car and then putting it right onto the stroller base other than that I mean I like Nuna I don't have any complaints I have a lot of friends who use Nuna products also and they love them. It's easy to clean and it's very, very convenient. Nuna gets a thumbs up from me. Now the price, I'm okay with the price to be honest because you get the car seat and then you have a base that fits into your car and then you get a stroller and the stroller grows with your child. And I feel like sometimes you pay for quality of things and Nuna has really good quality. So I'm down for Nuna. Um, the next big ticket item is the Snoo. I've gotten so many questions about the Snoo. The Snoo is the bassinet that we use 
use for Ace. It is exactly $14.95 or you can rent it for $1.50 a month. So the snoo is expensive. I'm just gonna say that off the top. The snoo is expensive and it's a bassinet that you can only use for the first six months. After six months, you're not supposed to put your baby into the snoo. The biggest complaint that I get about the snoo from people who comment is the price because of the amount of time that you can only use the snoo for your baby. The snoo works up until the child is six months old. Basically to pay $1,500 for a bassinet that you can only use for six months of their life sounds crazy. Once we get past the price of the snoo, my review is that I could not live without mine. When I tell you I love the snoo, I cannot lie, I love it. I would pay it over and over again because Ace sleeps so well in the snoo. Ryder would not sleep in a bassinet if I paid everybody in the world a million dollars. It just would not happen. It couldn't get her to sleep in a bassinet. I was up all night long because she would want to sleep right next to me and I was so paranoid to co-sleep with the newborn. I was up. I was a walking zombie. I never slept. I refused to do that this time having a second child. I'm like, I don't care if the baby cries all night. They're going in a bassinet. I did all my research on bassinets and I found the snoo it looks great it's beautiful um you guys can see it in the clips it looks really nice but i'm like is this just something that looks good or is it actually gonna work for my child the second night ace was home we started putting him in the snoo and i'm gonna be honest it was a little intimidating at first because of how you put them in and the swaddle but then i wrapped him tighter in swaddles that i would do with just blankets and i'm like what am i being paranoid for when in all actuality knowing that that he's you know in his swaddle and that he can't move anywhere he can't roll anywhere it gave me such a peace of mind that when he was sleeping i could actually sleep also where with Ryder, when she would sleep i would be up watching her to make sure she was okay and ace sleeps so much longer in the snoo than he does at any other time the snoo has saved my life i swear it has like i feel like it is the best thing in this house right now i mean ace is the best thing in the inside but the snoo is the third best thing Ryder's not here so she's not on the list I can't I can't Zach hates when we go anywhere and we're staying overnight this is how much I love the snoo I make him take it with us and it's not some like light piece of like luggage you can just throw in the car it's definitely heavy and I'm like pack the snoo he's like you're nuts I'm like am I because you want your sleep too I just want everybody to know like I really feel like people are so like oh, I can't believe you pay that much for a bassinet that you only use for six months i'm paying for my mental health because i feel so good about it i do not even care about how much it costs the one thing that i do like about them is that they know that it's pricey so they have given the option to rent the snoo you can rent the snoo right now for 150 dollars a month you're using it for six months now i did check on their website today because i heard that they always do like specials or offers and stuff like that so i wrote it down there's a newborn special right now so you can rent the snoo for 149 dollars for the first four months so from month one two three and four you rent it for basically 150 and then after that it's 30 dollars so for month five and six it's 30 dollars a month so i do think that they're trying to work with people understanding that their price of buying it flat out is expensive and I'm very happy with the snoo I cannot lie out of this whole list of big ticket items the snoo is definitely number one in my list and Ace loves it so yeah I would anybody who's like on the fence about getting one or renting one I'm saying to do it the next big ticket item is so we have this gucci diaper bag it looks just like this i had a few people ask me about it in past videos if it was worth the purchase if we like it and what we think so this is the bag it has two sides like two pocket sides they're magnetic so they just clip right back in and then there is another like magnet right here and you can like slide stuff in there it opens from the front of course and it's kind of full of stuff right now but this is what it looks like inside and it comes with a changing mat that looks 
like so. This is the changing mat that it comes with. And then there is a bottle holder that's inside the bag. And then there's one, two smaller compartments and then one larger compartment. I love the bag, like just off of how the bag looks and that it's durable. This has kind of been our go-to diaper bag. I do have a few smaller ones if I'm just out, then I will switch the bag. The bag was really like a present for Zach. He really liked the diaper bag. It was his first baby. He wanted a designer diaper bag. So he got to get the diaper bag. I wasn't gonna fight him on the diaper bag. I know he wanted it. There were certain things that I wanted and there were certain things that he wanted and he wanted a designer diaper bag. So, so be it. Do I think that the diaper bag is worth the price? But is it like any other diaper bag? Yeah, it is. But you're paying for the look. If you like that, then so be it. I like the diaper bag. That's pretty much it. It's like any other normal diaper bag. I feel like all the diaper bags kind of do the same thing. This diaper bag was $16.90. So $1,000, $690. This bad boy was very, very expensive. I do know that we are gonna get our money's worth because we use it all the time. And I would say that out of some of the other very, very cheaper and more affordable bags that I do have, there was a lot that I liked about them, but for some reason, I would always find a problem. Like the zipper broke or it would get dirty really fast and it wouldn't clean or just anything. Like if something spilled, it would stink because it wasn't really real leather and cleaning it just wouldn't really work at the best of its abilities. So I do like the diaper bag. I'm not complaining. It's just very expensive. And like I said, you're paying for the brand name. Our last big ticket item is a luxury stroller that we just got. It is the Mima Zari 4G stroller. This stroller is almost $1,600. It's between $1,500 and $1,600. It is the most beautiful stroller stroller in the world. I cannot lie to you. When we take this stroller out, we are getting stopped a million and one times to talk about how beautiful the stroller is, which is weird, right? When I got pregnant with Ryder, I started looking at strollers I wanted and I ended up getting the Nuna. If you ask any of my friends, they can tell you I wanted this brand stroller forever, but it what it didn't make sense practically at the time for me to get one because the stroller comes with a bassinet piece that you can fit into the same base and then it comes with the seat but to pay all this money and to not get it's not like a car seat you know it just didn't make sense for me at the time where I just needed to get what was practical I'm very excited because I wanted the stroller for a very long time and I feel like at this point in my life I deserve it so we got the stroller it is definitely a luxury stroller to be honest I'm very happy with it we have it in white and then our insert is blue you can buy different color inserts for your pop of color for the inside of yours they have a bunch of options online and they also have accessories like diaper bags so we have a diaper bag that goes with our stroller it looks just like this so our stroller is in fact white and I was scared to get white but we already have a black stroller and I wanted this to be like our fancy stroller you know if we're going somewhere and we're gonna walk around like the other day we went and walked around the grove and i really enjoyed using the stroller versus our nuna stroller so this is our diaper bag and it did come with the changing mat and it also came with like another bag where you can put like dirty things in here and then of course there's compartments and insulated area for you to put a bottle now this diaper bag looks just like the stroller so it fit perfectly so zach was very happy to take out the stuff from the gucci diaper bag to put it in this one because it like fit the part. I was very happy to take the stroller out because I've obsessed over this stroller for probably the past five years and I'm finally at a place where I was comfortable getting the stroller and I was very proud of myself, I cannot lie. I really enjoy this stroller, not only because it looks good, but the compartments are cool on it. It's definitely something that I would use if I was in a city where I wasn't always driving. It would be like more of my go-to stroller. I do like that it has a bassinet for the newborn stage and then the seat grows with your child. So I do think you're getting your money's worth if you want a nice luxury stroller. 
this would be my go-to one because it does adapt to your child's age. And I don't have anything negative to say about it if you want a luxury stroller. If you don't want a luxury stroller, then this is not the one for you. This is definitely something that you don't need, okay? You don't need to get this. This has to be something that you want to get. And this was something that I wanted to get. Also, the cool thing with them is that they do have adapters that you can get online so you can attach your own car seat to their base, which is nice to have that option in case you did decide that you wanted to get this to be your main stroller and you use the car seat adapters, but you do have to get a car seat additionally to this stroller. We have the white one and we do notice that, of course, it gets dirty, it's white, but whatever the material is that the stroller is made out of, it's very, very easy to clean. So I don't regret getting white. That is probably the most expensive between the diaper bag and that stroller is the most expensive baby items or baby accessories or baby gear that we have for ace and for the most part i'm happy with the purchases there's some that i could have left out and there's some that i did not need but i just wanted to get so that is my spiel on our big ticket baby product items i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will put the links below to all of these things even the ones that i'm kind of like but you know if you think that it's something that you can use for yourself then go ahead and buy it by all means i'd love to know your thoughts on any of these products and once again these are all big ticket items that we decided we wanted to purchase this is not something that i'm pushing on anybody to get for themselves but we will talk soon guys i hope you guys are having a good day